so just right away the dryness of it is super cool yeah. because that also makes me think of a drum you know like you wouldn't want to hear a snare drum with endless, you know, Percussive. you know, when I play PGM 90 on it, you know, it sounds when terrible. I, when I played when I play this for Vi in his studio, he said something to me. And once again, for the fear of fucking dropping names, the only reason I'm right. bringing it is because his opinion matters in this case. He literally was listening to this to after that song, after the second song, especially Rise. He was like, he literally, when he started, he didn't listen. He looked at it. He looked at the speaker that that side was happening or whatever was going. And he said to me, how did you get it to be right there? Yeah, yeah. He's like, it's like not even in the speaker anymore. It's like on my lap. It's in my yeah, yeah. And And the reason I said, Steven, I said, my whole life, I've never added anything in, in that rhythm sound. Not a chorus, not a fucking, there is nothing. It's my fingers. It's that guitar and that rep pedal going in there. And I want everybody, I want it to be in there. It's like yeah. they're sitting in front of my speaker. Brad Whitford said that to me a long time ago. I feel like I'm in front of your cab when I listen to mm -hmm. your, your albums. I'm like, thank you. Because that's what I want. I wanted it to be, I want the drums and everybody be here, but I want everybody to be in the studio with us. And they're like, oh my God, this isn't no studio trick. This isn't no fucking, no voodoo. It, you know, is right there. And you know what? And it can be for the good and the bad sometimes because you're risking a lot being right there. Right. You know what I mean? You're going like, there's no a lot, a lot of love there. It's like your fingers in the amp and the speaker. Good luck. Go for it. Let's see what you yeah. got. But nothing ventured, nothing gained, right? Yeah. yeah. A lot of what you play, it might be pentatonic minor in your solos, but you might you mix in harmonic minor and other scales. My assumption is that you're not intellectualizing any of these. I'm not things. aware. I'm not um, aware. You know, these are just, if you happen to be, playing a long run that's all alternate picking well that's the sound you needed to hear at that point and then if the next part's legato it's because it had it needed to yeah, be yeah it was i wish i was smart enough to know where i'm going meaning <laughs> I, wish, I wish i had a gps but i don't know but when it does happen it's all those tools and all the players let's call it the players because really at the end of the day i never studied alternate picking and i never studied legato picking and i never studied grabbing a bar and dive bombing i learned it from my peers I learned right. it from watching and listening. They were, they were, so when I do a bend, I don't even say I'm bending. I'm, I'm Brian May bending, or it's, that's a kind of an Eddie bend, or that's kind of, and when I'm muting and I'm doing that stuff, holy fuck, Nuno's gone Al Demiola on our shit. <laughs> Cause that's my percussive is Al Demiola all day. And then my legato, I'll put Edward right there and everybody else kind yeah. of falls in the middle, but they're my tool, they're my toolbox. I call it an Aldo Miola, not because I'm trying to be Aldo Miola. I'm saying that's that's my team. Well, Al made Al made everybody do it. You know, and he's mean, all of a sudden, and I'm a drummer, and you kidding me? When Al's going in, the, Al's going in the middle of something in a solo, and he stops and he goes, but you know what he's doing? He's playing. And guess what? He's, he's a drums, and he's a drummer. Yes. So yeah. when I went to see him in 1978 on the uh, you know or whatever year yeah it was 78 so i don't know if we were up the casino yet we might have been um and he's got timbales um you know right in front of him and he's got a percussion and i'm thinking like well i understand why he has like you know uh, 300 watt marshals you know like i get that and then all of a sudden he's playing timbales he's playing all those you know you know like perfectly or Frank Zappa, you know, Frank Zappa was a drummer too. So, you know, the I tell everybody, I tell everybody, and if you watch the Generation X thing, we do Frankenstein, a cover of it. Who does yeah. the timbales and all that stuff? I do, you know, and I play it and I play, doo -doo -doo -doo, I play it all because that's where I come from. And it's the same thing. I when when I, I was horrible at doing clinics in an early age, but Watchmen wanted me to do them. I tried to do them and I'd get conversation like this. I wouldn't talk a lot about guitar. I'd talk about how to get there. But one of the things when somebody said, what is the biggest, what is the biggest thing you would, what is, you got one sentence to say to a guitar player to get better or to do something. And I say, the thing I say is learn how to play drums. 